it. It was rubbish. Absolutely terrible. Yeah, it's not. Wow! Good morning, Trigo! What's happening? Brace yourselves. We're entering the shit months, apparently. Winter is coming. It's here, it's now, it's game day. And here we are once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. It's another episode of your favourite show in the world, All or Nothing, as we are in league action on this Saturday, where we will be hosting Wellingborough Whitworth, who will be driving down the A428. It will take them just over an hour, making... Going downtown, walking fast. Faces and I'm homebound. No way to pick some more playing fields where it's Letchworth Garden City Eagles v Wellingborough Whitworth in the Spartan South Midlands Division 1. 2022 and we've still got to put our clocks back. So from now until March, games on the weekend. First half will be played on a Saturday. Second half will be played like it's a Tuesday night. I just can't get away from them, can I? No matter what I do. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. But anyway, that's another chatting. Bollocks. It's into football news. So Wellingborough Whitworth finished fifth last season after 38 games on 76 points, where they reached a playoff final, but they lost to Shefford. They currently sit 19th after 12 games on seven points, where they've won two, drawn one, and lost nine. They've only won one game in their last 10, and their last win in the league coming on the third of the ninth, 2022. James Mellows and Mick Garside are joint managers. have both been in charge for a little while now. I can only find records from the last two seasons where they've taken a total of 50 games, where they've won 26, they've drawn 5, and they've lost 19, gives them a win percentage of 52%. This is Wellingborough Whitworth's Danger Men. I don't care about no I don't give a fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. The 2nd of the 10th, 2021. Letchworth Garden City Eagles 1. Wellimbra Whitworth 5. Rusev with her only goal. Horrible day, that. So, without all being said, let's get to the ground. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's... Let me get the fuck out of here. Out the Eagles! <laughs> Two o'clock. Yes, please. Two o'clock. Oh, I say 
taken. Today the league says we win today, but it's all up to you. There's no guarantees in football. All we can do is do the right things, put in maximum amount of effort. We've worked hard this week, done for all that to waste. This team, neither or not, is ready for the taking, but it's up to you to go out there and take it. I'll stand up to him. Whatever happens, stay. Win, lose, or draw. It will not be a loss. I'm expecting a win. We're all out there with you. Me, the coaching staff, the people on the bench, you are not playing alone. We feel every disappointment that you have, every joy that you have in the 90 minutes of football, we feed it. So when you're not performing to your levels that you've set, it disappoints everybody as well as yourself. So nothing's personal, but you've set standards, and I expect you to keep them on a consistent basis. Eagles on three. One, two, three. Eagles! Darryl Reed, goalkeeper. Vlad has just gone forward. I'm in those signing, defender. Vincent Thomas, defender. Theo North, defender. Sam James. Danny Charles, midfield. Luke Shimo, midfielder. Harry Gollumo, midfielder. Tony Cockney, midfielder. Roger Williams, midfielder. Richard Marvel, defender. Harvey Bell, defender. Shoot on site to get our 21st game of this season underway. God knows how many's left. I'm knackered. Daryl comfortable on the ball as he tries to play to the Kiwis National. Oh, and it's been cut out by number seven. As number seven will play that into 11. A doy to clear into the path of number 10. He's dropped the shoulder against the mullet. He's had a shot over the bar. We can breathe again, but that's far too casual for us in these opening couple of minutes. Danny with her first effort on target. Straight into the hands of the keeper. We're in the latest fashion item for Milan. A bit. 11 looking to find a way through, but a doy is there to stop him. He has a shot. He's hit the side netting. Nothing we can't handle. Sammy James looking to lift this ball long into the path of shoots on site who brings that down with a chest. That is a lovely bit of control. He'll knock it out wide to the remaining Usain Bolt. Is he looking to drive? No, he's delivered that. The minute's at the back post, I'm up. No connection. A good chance goes begging. Corner to Wellenborough as number five gets above a door of Daryl Walclay. And there's been a sin bin. The goalkeeper's been sent off for 10 minutes. I don't know why he has, but all the action happens at Pixmore playing fields. Get yourself down to what? Sammy James looking to play this ball into a dangerous area. As the Kiwi International completely misses it. And shoot on sight. Does what shoot on sight does. Goal kick. Free kick to Letchworth as the mullet will look to play this in. Straight to number five, who will clear. H will recycle the ball back in. Number five will knock it back out. The ball's like an hot potato at the moment as Danny will play that down to H. Bouncing around again. Adoy. Look to shoot. Goal kick. The remaining Usain Bolt will play this into H. Not the greatest of touches, but he's still got control. He's got too many around him. He's going nowhere. Wellingbro will look to claim this and clear the ball. Slabhead has come flying in. What's he doing that far of the pitch? And the counter attack is on at the moment. It's three on two. Ball's played into 11. That's a terrible touch. But the Kiwi International's there to cover. That's another let off. Wellingbro is still down to 10 at the moment as they try to get up the pitch. But that's been intercepted by Sammy. He plays the ball into the menace. Lovely control. Nice little back heel to H. On the half way. The standing goalkeeper makes it easy with a little push over the bar. But what a goal that would have been. I thought that was in. I was really gone. I was out the door running down the street naked celebrating. As we look to play this corner in short into the menace. Who will lift this trying to go back post. Goalkeeper's punched. Out to H. Looking for his options. Let's recycle the ball. Sammy James looking to deliver. Over. Shoot on sight. And the goalkeeper will claim. The money looking to strike this from 30 yards. And the original goalkeeper is back on who will claim this. And the will blow for half time. Nil nil. We've had chances. We've been going through the same thing, gents. We've been learning the poor side. <coughs> Dipped to our quality to their level. When they're attacking, they're attacking with three. When they're defending, they're defending with one. They've come here not to lose rather than to win the game of football. You come here just to <coughs> win football. That's the difference. We're no longer brave. We're staying a deep line. Keeper, you started us off by some yeah. dodgy decision making, which has now made our back four nervous, which means it's run through the team. You start off nervous, one tight break through the team. Now we've got wing backs cheating. So when we're defending the balls on the other side, I've got Flav just getting here, saying, oh, Dempsey, that is your man, I'll give a shit. And not only is he not coming back, he's not side on which he should be, which we've been coaching him for the last two weeks. So when he gets the ball, the only real opposition he's got is to go backwards once he's being squeezed. Sammy, not tracking back. Theo had a man here in front of him. There was a man here, I've had to yell at Sammy to come back, which means we've got wing backs who just don't give a shit about defending, just want to go forwards. We feel to do quite good, hate to do well. Up front, there's no imagination, nothing at all. You guys don't look like you scoring today. You're on a yellow. It's the second game you've given them a yellow. Oh, I swear. I it it doesn't matter. Game, no, I won't. But 
you're on the yellow. So that's a decision I have to make. We can potentially go down to 10 minutes because now he's looking for you. And not only that, they're making him look at you. Now you're, now you're not touching him, a little clip, and they're diving on the floor. Oh, he's already, already on the yellow. Which is something I've taken into consideration. But ultimately, this game is up to you. How are you going to come in here screaming and all that? Because you're better players than this. If you're that weak mentally to lower your standards to this, that's on you. But you guys got quality. And if you don't believe in it, I believe in you. If you don't believe in yourself, then what are you doing it? I don't understand. You leave your house on the Saturday to come play football. But you jumping out of a tackle. I don't understand it. You're sending off. A big one like that. That's when you put your authority down on the plan. Sometimes you've got to get dirty. And that was a 60-40 and you're out flavour and you just stuck your toe out. Keep the ball moving from left to right because we seem to get enjoyed down the middle. A teammate, you get one or two and they'll just fold completely. Yeah. Don't force a pass into midfield or into H because they're going to have fucking bodies around them. So just, if you need to, clip a channel, and then go and run that fucking channel and be clever. You've seen them do it. As soon as they get the slightest touch, it's fucking referee and they're screaming, they're getting the fouls. So be clever. Even if it's the slightest touch, everyone needs to be in that ref's ear. Well, Ember Whitworth looking to get the second half underway, and there's been a false start. One, two, three, four, five players jumped the gun already. And off we go. Number nine for Willenborough Whitworth has caught us on a counter-attack as he skims past Danny. A doy to get a foot in. There's a man at the back post who's unmarked to number seven and should put it in. It's 1-0. One, 1-2-3-4 one, of theirs against 1-2-3-4-5-6-7 of ours. 1-0 Willenborough. Free kick to Willenborough played in as over a doy. Dempsey's trying to shield off. A shot shot and it's 2-0. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. 50-50 ball to be won and the Doy with all his experience has won that nice and clean and comfortably playing it into the mullets who has H to the side of him looking to lift this ball into the box it's semi cleared out to Albi who will play this into Gorgeous George who's looking to turn doesn't have many options he's played it into the box over to Mullet who's got shot off and that's a good save by the goalkeeper the men is looking to go on his own as he's bursting through and that'll be a foul. They don't like it, but they've had them all game, so it's our time. The mullet on the edge of the box. Look at the strike this. Last time he hit one sweetly was against Real Bedford last season. And it's in the back of the net. The comeback is on. 2-1. Here we go. <laughs> Lovely strike with 15 to go. Is this going to kick us on? The most handsome man in football looking to play the ball into the box. The menace has knocked it down. He's knocked it over to Gorgeous George. That's got to be a penalty, surely. I mean, I couldn't quite see because I ain't got onion head in the way no more, but I've got Nathan. But that looked like a penalty from where I was standing and sitting in my bedroom in my pants. Disgusting. The most handsome man in football looking to repeat that cross into the menace. who's knocked it down to H. Oh, he's taking an horrible touch. But we're still in possession as the mullet will have a shot and it will be deflected for a corner. We're piling on this pressure now. Too little too late, maybe. The mullet to play this corner in. It's away by number six, but not very far as H will collect that. He squared it to the menace. Minutes to have a shot, it's been blocked. Danny trying to claim the ball back, but Willembro will clear this. Another opportunity gone. Another 50 50 ball to be won, and the most handsome man in football will win this as he squares it over to the menace. Can he drive? No, he's gone for a cross. Doesn't beat the first man, but it's up in the air. Gorgeous George takes a touch. Over to Alby, who's done one, he's done two. That's a foul. You see the chop all day long, ref. Come on. You gonna get your cards out or what? Practically the last kick of the game, the ref was looking for an excuse not to give us absolutely anything because they haven't all game. The mullet, can he repeat what he done first time round? <sighs> That's over the bar and unfortunately that is the end of the game. A 2-1 loss. Look what it means to him. I'm torn because I don't think some of you are good enough. Well, actually, you are good enough, but I don't know if you're my type of players. Your preparation for a game is not good enough. I said before the game was people just going to run up here and think you're going to win a game of football. It's not going to happen. Proved to be right, started off shit. First goals come from somebody taking a bad touch and a slip. Be on not even taking a touch, which is dead to them come overloading on our right hand side. For me, that's not acceptable. I don't give a shit what you think. Second goals come from a foe that's gone on a man in front of Doy with a Doy's experience. He's supposed to get a man in front of that man. So to Burn that ball from coming in. Took a spin, not good enough for me personally. We come back into the game, put on, how old are you now? 17. A 17 year old to come and put a voice on the pitch. If you guys don't go home and think it's taking a 17 year old to come on the pitch and just to give us a bit of voice to spur us on, you don't need to give up the game of football, man. This guy's 17 years old. We had nothing up front really until we went to the three up here. I'm not under any pressure, but I don't like losing games of football. And it's simple as that. You don't want to be mid table, then you're the wrong team. We need to be looking up, not down and we lost against a team that absolutely mugged you off. Their celebration tells you everything. They've got a scalp 
That was us last year. We've come a long way, but we ain't gonna go back there. Go again on Tuesday. Some of you are gonna go again on Tuesday. Uh, I've got a lot of thinking to do. This is on you, gents. We put on the sessions. We do all the hard work. If you ain't gonna come out and show quality, then I ain't gonna be here looking at anyone in YouTube can talk. Look, unfortunately, a two-one defeat today. We just wasn't at the races. The only highlight was your peach for goal. Talk to me. What happened out there today? The mentality was wrong. Oh, everyone really collectively. We're all responsible as a team. Turned up, didn't really get going. Started slow again. It took us two goals to concede before we actually go in and started to play with a bit more desire and hunger and actually wanted to win. And it cost us at the end of the day. The old cliche is you're only as good as your last game. We've got a game on Tuesday night. Easiest way to put this behind us is with a win. How do you think we're going to go about that? Hopefully everyone will go away from today, be thoroughly frustrated, uh, have a moment to themselves and just realise we can't accept performances like that, especially in this league. Because if you don't take your chances and you don't perform as a team, then you're going to get punished. So we need a bit of a bounce back, refresh. Everyone comes back with the right attitude. Good performance in. We can throw all these magic words out now. We weren't at the races. We didn't turn up, didn't show up, didn't start fast enough. Ultimately, that's all correct. We got what we deserved out of this game, which was nothing. I think. Weddenborough had a game plan, they were stuck to it, and they got the win because of it. Quick turnaround. We cannot feel sorry for ourselves. We've got to move on and sharpish as we have another game Tuesday night. You know what to do. Tala. Two.